Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. As always, your host with the most ghost. And today we do have the true story of WrestleMania Blu-ray review. And this is one of those DVDs that, I, I mean, every everybody should definitely have this one in your collection. And this is a, a DVD that they took a lot of time, put a, forth a great effort and, in producing this one. Um, you know, it's not the best DVD ever or the greatest, you know, documentary ever, but it does have, you know, quite a bit of, you know, history and different things like that, that a lot of people are going to enjoy. A lot of little stories and tidbits all around, uh, WrestleMania that a lot of people really, really enjoy. So on the cover here, we got a shot of Mr. McMahon at, uh, WrestleMania four or five, I believe, there in Trump Plaza, and that's one of my favorite logos in the background there, got it on another DVD, and if you haven't uh, guessed it already, we are now getting into the WrestleMania uh, DVDs and Blu-ray reviews, so take some time, subscribe to the channel, guys. True story of WrestleMania, and this one just looks great on the shelf. Um, excellent. I think that WrestleMania logo right there, it, it looks excellent. And I, I think lately they've just been getting too, you know, stylistic with it. And, you know, they, they try to alter it so much or, or so little. It, it They try to alter it so little but it makes a huge difference. I'll give you the uh, WrestleMania 32 real quick. Um, just that nasty M they put on there. I mean, it just ruins it. That nasty blocky M and W. Um, that's the one I like right there. WrestleMania. So, let's get into it, guys. Um, this one didn't come with an insert, so I'm going to have to run down that quite a bit, but... Check out this disc art and, uh, well, that's really, really cool. I believe that's, uh, it kind of coincides with the, uh, background and things like that, which I believe is, uh, Ford Field in Detroit. Pull it out for you. I mean, check that out. That is wonderful. I mean, nice panoramic view of Ford Field. WrestleMania 23, one of my favorites of all time. So I'll run down this briefly, but... Um, so let's run down this briefly. I do actually have the uh, one-disc version of it. So maybe one day I'll do a giveaway. And if you would like to have this one-disc set in your collection, leave a comment down below. If you guys are interested in... DVD giveaways. I have a few duplicates I'm willing to part with for the subscribers and you know you guys are are well deserved to have these DVDs in your collection. So comment down below guys if you guys are ever interested in me doing a giveaway, let me know right away. So let's get into WrestleMania true story. So we got some Excellent pictures up here. The, the WrestleMania 1 poster. Their crappy autofocus. Stone Cold Steve Austin. The WrestleMania 3, uh, you know, panoramic view. And they got the WrestleMania 20 uh, banner there. And I, I'm actually curious, how many times has Snicker Cruncher, Snickers been the sponsor or whatever of wrestlemania because i know it's been quite a few 
So it's the most anticipated event in entertainment. An annual global pulp culture touchpoint. For more than 25 years, it's actually now more than 30, WrestleMania has hosted the biggest stars, the biggest celebrities, and the biggest matches. Now, for the first time ever, the true story of WrestleMania's evolution is told from the gamble of the premier event at Madison Square Garden in 85 through today's week-long entertainment extravaganza, which attracts fans from all 50 states and around the world. This documentary includes new and revealing interviews from the superstars and creative forces behind the spectacular. This two-disc set Blu-ray is packed with more than five hours of bonus features, highlighting some of the greatest matches and moments from the 26-year history of WrestleMania, including Hogan and T vs. Piper and Orndorff, Hogan vs. Andre, the ladder match for the IC title, Rock Hogan, WrestleMania 18, Rock vs. Triple H, WrestleMania 22, and this actually includes bonus features not available on DVD. So the Blu-ray here runs about 9 hours, um, 2011 release, so let's run down the, uh, the, the listing here, because there is quite a bit of uh, exclusives and different things like that. So the documentary portion, they they go through the beginning where WrestleMania is born, New York, Chicago, LA, bigger, better, badder, influencing a generation. And while they're talking about WrestleMania 3, they go they do go back and forth quite a bit. They don't go in chronological order and it does make sense the way they do it. So when they're talking about WrestleMania 3, they jump to WrestleMania 23 since they were both in, you know, the, the Detroit area. And then they go through the Battle of the Billionaires, the Atlantic City hotspot, WrestleMania's 4 and 5. They go to O Canada, um, WrestleMania 6 and 18. They go through Hulkamania being born, being emotionally charged, dream match, not a reality with Hogan and Rock. They go through the Toga Party with... Uh, WrestleMania 9, being back on Broadway at WrestleMania 10, uh, Fan Access, which they did the first one at, uh, I believe WrestleMania 10 had the first official Fan Access, um, they go through the Hall of Fame at WrestleMania 20, and different things like that, they go through the new generation, the baddest man on the planet with Mike Tyson, um, they skim over the celebrities a, uh, a little bit, going through the new millennium, the seismic shift, Mr. WrestleMania, crowd effect, living on a dream, the music of mania, the citrus bowl, preparing for the moment, greatest match ever, which would uh, they would talk about, um, I believe, Steamboat Savage, and then Undertaker and Shawn Michaels. Undefeated, which was uh, Undertaker's streak. And then they go through the WrestleMania legacy. So the matches, which are on the disc one, the Blu-ray. We got the Hogan Mr. T versus Piper and Orndorff. Randy Savage versus Ricky Steamboat, WrestleMania 3. Also from WrestleMania 3, Hogan Andre. The retirement match from Mania 7, Savage vs. Ultimate Warrior, HBK vs. Rey's Ramon, IC title ladder match, WrestleMania 10, Disc 2, Shawn Michaels vs. Stone Cold Steve Austin, WrestleMania 4, 14 for the WWE title, WrestleMania 16, the triangle ladder match between Edge, Christian, the Hardys, and the Dudleys for the tag titles the street fight from Wrestlemania 17 Shane McMahon vs. Mr. McMahon The Rock vs. Hulk Hogan uh, Brock and Kurt Angle from 19 John Cena and Triple H from 22 and special features we have three matches um, the Money in the Bank ladder match from Wrestlemania 24 
Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels, WrestleMania 25. And Batista and John Cena from uh, WrestleMania 26. Also on uh, Disc 2 Special Features, we have uh, a few... Uh, a few, you know, bonus interviews and things like that, which include uh, Gene Okerlund interviewing Liberace, and this was like a, uh, a interview back from like 1985. We have underestimating the crowd at WrestleMania nine. Um, we got Heenan's Wild Ride with the Camel. Um, we got Rey Mysterio's WrestleMania outfits. John Cena on making an entrance. Edge on facing The Undertaker at WrestleMania 24. And we got Bret Hart's WrestleMania return at 26. And then uh, various superstars discuss their favorite uh, WrestleMania moments. So quite a, quite a bit of uh, extras on here. Um, honestly, you're not going to buy this one for the match selection. You're going to get this one more for the documentary portion so let me know your thoughts on the true story of wrestlemania guys and what are your thoughts on this one because i enjoyed it quite a bit take some time subscribe we'll talk to you later peace